Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will try to solve a numerical on the homogeneity of a Cobb Douglas production function. The question is like this Consider a Cobb Douglas production function that is q is equal to a times uh, k to the power alpha l to the power beta, which is homogeneous of degree 4. What degree of homogeneity are its marginal products function? That is, we have to find the home, uh, degree of homogeneity of its marginal products. The options are uh, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay? So, as we know, Q is the output, A is the technological efficiency. Uh, it shows the level of uh, uh, state of the technology. The higher the value of A, uh, the more efficient production function is. Uh, K is the capital L is the labor alpha and beta shows us the labor uh, capital and uh, labor shares respectively so I will not go into the detail about the Cobb Douglas production function I have made a separate uh, playlist on the production functions okay so we will see how to solve this first we will write this very function which is given Q is equal to a k to the power alpha times L to the power beta and here it has been told it is homogeneous of degree 4. That means by homogeneity of degree 4 means if capital and labor are increased. So I will, if labor and capital are increased by 1%, okay, this quantity gets increased by, quantity gets increased by 4%, okay. That means if capital and labor are increased by 1%, quantity produced will get increased by 4%. Okay, this is the simple meaning of the homogeneity. Okay, if, uh, the, if it was the homogeneous of degree 1, let us say uh, we have a Cobb Douglas production function which is homogeneous of degree 1. By homogeneous of degree 1 simply means if capital and labor are increased by 1%, then quantity uh, produced will increase only by 1%. Okay, this shows us the degree of homogeneity. Okay, I hope I am making myself clear. So, now we are given uh, the Cobb Douglas production function and it is homogeneous of degree 4. That means, that simply means we have alpha plus uh, beta is equal to 4 that means alpha plus beta is equal to 4 okay this Cobb Douglas production function is homogeneous of degree 4 and sum of the exponents is here 4 okay now we have to find first the marginal products which are in question that is marginal product of capital and marginal product of labor okay so marginal product of capital so I will not write it in the subscript. Marginal product of capital is equal to that is simply the partial derivative of this uh, Cobb Douglas production function with respect to k. So I will write here k. Okay, that means we have to partially differentiate this Cobb Douglas production function with respect to k. Okay, so since we are differentiating with respect to k, k is k has the exponent alpha this alpha will become the coefficient that is it will become like this alpha a k to the power alpha minus one okay this is uh, simply from the power function rule of differentiation and we have l to the power beta okay so i will show here the derivative of k to the power alpha its derivative is equal to this alpha becomes coefficient alpha becomes coefficient k and this uh, exponent is subtracted by 1 that is alpha minus 1 as if we were given x to the power n its derivative is simply n becomes coefficient n x to the power n minus 1 this is how do we do the differentiation okay so now we can uh, rewrite this uh, like this we have alpha 
a k to the power alpha k to the power minus 1 and l to the power beta okay or we can write it like this alpha a k to the power alpha divided by or I will write first with this L to the power beta divided by K because we have K to the power minus 1 is simply equal to K to the power plus 1 okay this is the uh, this is from the law of exponents I hope you know this very simple uh, rule okay so this K to the power minus 1 will become the denominator similarly uh, similarly uh, we can write here this is our marginal product of capital and uh, to find the marginal product of labor this would be simply then marginal product of labor is simply the partial derivative of production function with respect to L and it will come out to be uh, I will not show here because you have to partially uh, this time differentiate with respect to L or I will show you here, here okay so this time we have to differentiate this production function with respect to L simply uh, as I have shown how to find the bottle product of capital what will happen since we have to partially differentiate with respect to uh, L, uh, L then the derivative of L to the power beta is simply beta l to the power beta minus 1 which i have explained earlier okay so this will become then beta a k to the power alpha will remain same because we are uh, differentiating with respect to l and we have l to the power beta minus 1 okay and when we rewrite this it will become beta a k to the power alpha l to the power beta divided by L because L to the power minus 1 uh, will become L in the denominator okay so this is marginal product of capital marginal product of labor I hope I am making myself clear now we have to find the degree of homogeneity uh, of the marginal products okay and let us say let us say that uh, this production function in this production function capital and labor are increased by a factor lambda okay that means we increase capital and lab, uh, labor by a factor lambda lambda can be any we can double triple or any number okay let us say if capital and labor are increased by a factor i will write here by a factor factor lambda okay what will happen to the marginal product so first we will see what will happen to this marginal product of capital okay that means our marginal product of capital would be equal to since every term is a uh, capital and labor are increased by a factor lambda that means capital and labor will be multiplied by lambda okay correspondingly that means uh, we have this very function alpha will remain same we have to do nothing uh, to the alpha okay so I will write alpha we have a is same uh, k is increased by a factor lambda so this will become k uh, k sorry this will become lambda k uh, to the power alpha and similarly labor is also uh, increased by a factor lambda so this will become a uh, lambda l to the power beta okay divided by k since k is also uh, increased by a factor lambda so this will become here lambda k okay now we will uh, see what will happen here so we can write alpha a we can write lambda power alpha k to the power alpha lambda to the power beta l to the power beta and we have uh, lambda times k okay now 
uh, we can see here we have a k to the power alpha a k to the power alpha l to the power uh, beta okay if we rewrite this this will become alpha a alpha a k to the power alpha l to the power beta and we have uh, lambda and lambda are same so lambda since bases are same then this will become alpha plus beta exponents are added and we have this lambda times k okay now uh, we have here a k to the power alpha l to the power beta and uh, this very thing this very thing is our production function so in place of uh, this i will write q so to simplify this this will become a q lambda to the power alpha uh, plus beta okay alpha uh, plus beta divided by lambda k okay or we can write it like this we have alpha q divided by k okay and we are left with uh, lambda alpha plus beta and we will transpose this uh, lambda uh, to the numerator this uh, the sign of the exponent will change here it is lambda to the power one it will become lambda to the power minus one so i will write here it will become lambda to the power minus one or it will we have alpha q divided by k lambda alpha plus beta since bases are same exponents are subtracted so we will get here alpha q divided by k alpha plus beta is our alpha plus beta is 4 so i will write lambda times 4 minus 1 okay so here we can see it comes out to be here it comes out to be alpha q divided by k and lambda comes out to be 4 minus 1 is 3 so here we can clearly see that when capital and labor were increased by factor lambda then marginal product of capital has increased by a factor 3 that means if uh, capital and labor were increased by 1% marginal product of capital has increased by 3% okay similarly marginal product of labor would also increase by 3% I have only shown uh, you the marginal product of capital that is the homogeneity of the degree of homogeneity of marginal product of capital i have only shown here but you can use the same logic in uh, cal calculating the marginal product of labor okay so to cut it short if capital and la uh, labor were increased by a factor lambda then marginal of product of capital would increase by a factor three okay so we can say that uh, degree of homogeneity of marginal products uh, a marginal product function would be three the correct option would be three i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you